Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are going to creating the migration, running the migration to have the tables on our database and all these things in this episode. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see what we are going to create. In the last episode, we have created migrations also along with controller model and one thing more yeah factory so factory and migrations we have created so let's see the migration here is the migration to create product table what we need in our product table product has a name so name and that should be string then have the price for that product that's good and then we have stock then we have some kind of discount system okay i have forget it that means the detail of a product and detail has to be a text okay then price has to be integer then stock again integer and discount again integer obviously you want have this to be double and discount to be double you can do that but i'm going to give all these things up to you so that you can manage your api things according to your project i'm just giving you the idea okay so all these things are here let's go to the reviews migration and obviously for a review we need a customer the customer who has reviewed the product so customer and customer name has to be a string that's very nice then we have the original review okay and that should be text and then we need a star rating <laughs> that should be here a star rating so a star not a start a star and that has to be integer because starting on product between 1 to 5 and we will tackle this 1 to 5 uh, validation in the validation part okay so we have done that okay so now what we need important thing which is actually the product id so in teacher and product underscore id and that has to be unsigned and then has to be index and obviously we need to refer it to product table so if a product is deleted every reviews connected to that will be deleted automatically so let's just get this one so here we have given that this is a foreign key so foreign foreign key on product id then references on id and id on products table so on products and one thing more on delete i will say cascade okay everything is done reviews migration is created products migration is created let's just run php artisan migrate command to have all these things on our database but obviously we have to set up our database so let's get the database of eapi api and then root password is nothing that's good let's go to sql pro to create new database now add database eapi and we have created that let's go to terminal and i will say php artisan migrate hit enter and you can see everything is created let's refresh here and reviews table is here products table is here so our migration part is done and let's just push everything to github so git add all i'm going everything directly so just adding that then git commit hyphen m give the message migration created for product and reviews okay hit enter and everything is set up let's just go and before going that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder here i will say uh, db 
and this folder name is db and I am going to get this exported so that you will get all these things. So SQL Pro export export SQL to and now open this folder and reveal it. Move this SQL profile to here so that you will get the database every time I commit. So now here once more git add all and I will say git commit and with the m flag db also added for migration uh, after migration after migration and hit enter then git push okay so I'm pushing everything to github so let's just go here and reload and we have four commit yeah obviously one commit for migration then added the database so you can get the database from here so database file is here you can see this database is here you can use this database and if you want the whole project up to that commit only and you can get that by using this link so that's good we will meet in the next episode to have seeding part of our database don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye